Starting this summer, police chiefs across Virginia will be able to set curfews during times of civil unrest because of a new state law. You're watching 8 News at 530. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. That new rule is already stirring up some controversy. 8 News reporter Alexis Bellamy spoke with the NAACP about their concerns. Alexis. Yeah, Eric, Deanna, good evening. Earlier today, I spoke with Robert Barnett. Now, he is the president of the Virginia NAACP. Now, he says the organization's issue is with the language in the bill. Now, they worry that without more clarity, that the bill will negatively impact people of color when it goes into effect. Senate Bill 1455, better known as the curfew bill, was recently signed into law, giving police chiefs in Virginia the discretion to set curfews during times of civil unrest. The NAACP says they are disappointed because the bill has left them with more questions than answers on how it will be enforced. It's unfortunate that um, this bill was passed with so many questions and it just continues the uh, pipeline to prison, uh, the prison to pipeline for African Americans or people of color. The law goes into effect on July 1st, allowing police chiefs to quote, impose curfews for up to 24 hours if there is an imminent threat of any civil commotion or disturbance in the nature of a riot which constitutes a clear and present danger. The NAACP argues that could mean anything. Barnett says that there were actions that could have been taken before the bill was passed. The group says that inaction left them feeling unheard and ignored. We could have had more um, discussions on the issues and how it would impact black and brown communities. The Virginia NAACP says they urged Governor Glenn Youngkin to veto the bill because they worry that it will give police chiefs and city leaders the ability to take matters into their own hands and to define their own terms on what makes a civil disturbance. Have to define imminent threat and civil commotion or disturbance so everybody would be on the same page. Now, earlier today, I reached out to several police agencies to find out exactly how the curfew would be executed by these separate police departments. Now, we have yet to hear back from any of these localities, but we'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more. For now, live in Richmond, Alexis Bellamy, 8 News.